you'd have to be desperate to drink that. But although it looks good, you don't know what that contains. It could be all sorts of nasties in there. Things can make you really ill. Thought I'd give it the ultimate test. One of the most polluted rivers in the south of England. If I can drink this water and not be ill, I can pretty much get water from anywhere. In a SHTF situation, you just got to put this to the test and drink. If I'm sick, this machine is not worth buying. Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. As you know, I'm a bit of a prepper and the most valid prepping tool, in my opinion, is a water purification system. I've got my hands on this water purification system made by ITIL. It's a reverse osmosis machine. It claims you can source water from any location. So I field tested it at home in my water butts and in my fish pond. I've drunk water from them sources and uh, no problems. So I thought I'd give it the ultimate test. One of the most polluted rivers in the south of England. And most of the rivers, well mainly most of the rivers in England are polluted. So I wanted a system that would eradicate all the waterborne viruses and something I could rely on that I could gain great drinking water or safe drinking water from any water source such as this river. So there's no test available that I can test this river and see if it's safe for me to drink from source. The only way I can do it is to gain samples and they'll test each sample in a lab tell me if it contains any of them elements so it's quite a sophisticated lab check so I, you know I'm not doing that you know in a in a SHTF situation you just got to put this to the test and drink so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna run it through this filter which is a re reverse osmosis I'm gonna drink it <clears throat> And the only valid test is if I become ill. So in this in this river, there could be Cryptosporidium, Jardia, E. coli, pesticides, herbicides, and all other contaminants. So there's no way I can do a, a test. There's no test available to test all them elements that are in this water. So I'm going to source it from the river, I'm going to drink it and then I'm going to report back to you in about three or four days and see how I'm feeling. It's the only way I can test this machine to know when, when I really need it have I got 100% security in this machine. I've done a lot of research on it and I love the two filters that are built into the machine you've got a hybrid filter and you've got a reverse osmosis. So the hybrid filter within the machine takes out all the large sediment and rusts. And then the bit I'm really interested in is the reverse osmosis section. That filter is key to me drinking fresh, clean, palatable water from this river without becoming ill. So the reverse osmosis is a membrane that's water is pushed under pressure, a really fine membrane that takes 0.001 micron of all viruses out. So I'm relying on that technology which I've researched in order to drink this water and to eradicate anything that's going to make me ill. It's quite a test for me because I'm putting my health in jeopardy really coming down here and drinking this but I need to know that this machine is up for the job. I have many water purification systems in my arsenal. I have two Berkeys, a Catadyne manual pump filter for when I'm hiking and traveling. But I think after testing this today, I think this will probably be one of my favorites. It's portable. It's got its own power supply built in. Two 600 milliamp batteries built into this unit. It also contains 
two filters that I was on about, the hybrid and the reverse osmosis filter, which is built into the machine. On one charge, this can pump out 40 litres of fresh drinking water. And to me, that is, a, that is great. And that pumps out 500 mil in one minute. So that's pretty impressive pump on here. But like you all know, water is so precious. We take it also for granted. I'd rather water than than any other asset because after three days without water you're pretty much finished so one of these machines is essential you know if you're like me you like traveling you like being a prepper I think it's a must so like I said totally portable you can stick it in your car you know if you're going for a little hike somewhere somewhere remote you could stick it in your backpack which I've done today it weighs in around five kilos so it's not really heavy, but something like this could save your life. You've got multiple ways of charging. So there's your charging port there. So USB-C to USB-C. You can charge it via solar, via power generator, or straight into the mains. So if you've got access to power, you know, and you're, or you're on a homestead or somewhere like that, this is, this is perfect. So in the unit you get a lovely carry bag, keep all your hoses clean and all together. So I'm going to set this up now and we're going to source the water from this river and drink it. So this is your inlet hose, nice long hose and the, the thing I like about this machine, I've tested it already, I've run it through, cleaned it all out, which it tells you to do but I love the power of the pump on here. So on an elevation, if you're sourcing water from an, an elevated spot, it'll pump that water straight up to you. And they also put another sediment filter on the end. So on the back side of the unit, this is your inlet. You screw that in like so. So this is where all the nasties are gonna come into the unit. And then on the other side, you have two outlets. It says it on there in small writing. You've got your pure drinking water and then you've got your domestic water. So, so easy to set up. I'm gonna put the blue pipe in the domestic outlet, which are just push fit attachments, which is really good. And then the white one into the drinking water and hopefully what comes out of here is virus free. So this blue pipe is all the off spill from the filter system. So you could wash up with this or shower with this water. This water is not going to be wasted. So on the front of the unit, you have LED lights and the power button. And it tells you when the filters have run out which I think is a great feature you don't have to run any dyes or anything through the filters it'll tell you when you need to replace both filters so both filters like I said sit in the unit like that so you have the hybrid filter this side and the reverse osmosis the other side the reverse osmosis does around 3000 litres before you need to replace it and then the red light will come on telling you need to change it and the hybrid filter because it's taken in such large the first cycle of the of the water the larger particles does 1500 litres and you need to change it obviously it will be less if you're really in high sediment water so they fit in there nice and compact all shuts away so we've got around a four foot drop to the water level so it's a great test I haven't tested this unit at this level so it's great you don't have to get down to the water level to source your water so in goes the pickup
so I won't be collecting domestic water today. I'll just leave that on the edge to trickle back into the water. And this is what I'm interested in, this piece here. So I'm gonna let this run, purge the system, obviously through there, I'm gonna let some fresh drinking water out, and then I'm gonna place this into this container, and then I'll be drinking it. And then my body will be the lab test. So to turn on, just press and hold for a few seconds. The green light comes on and she starts pumping. I'm interested to see if it does pump at this height because this is around four foot. So that's your domestic water coming out and that is your pure virus free drinking water. So I'm just going to let this run for uh, 30 seconds and then I'm going to put it in the container. So here we go then, straight into the container. But I love field testing equipment and this is, this is a, real, a real field test for this unit and for me. And I know now I've got peace of mind when I've got this machine with me. If I can drink this water and not be ill, I can pretty much get water from anywhere. But look at that, that, that is liquid gold. Especially when you see the river behind me, the colour and knowing what's in it. You know, you've got a lot of agriculture around here. And obviously a lot of viruses and bits and pieces. But so far, that water looks pretty, pretty nice. As you can see, you can see the flow rate. It's roughly 500 mil a minute. Obviously it's a bit harder here because of the condition of the water and the, and the water level as well. That pump's having to work really hard. But what a lifesaver. If you really had to rely on this and you had to come down to your local river or any water source, you know, what peace of mind having a machine like this that you own. Like I said, water's everything. Take it so for granted. But that looks pretty, pretty nice. I'm going to go a little bit more, fill it up and then it'll be the taste test. See if I can taste that sediment in the water and all them nasties, which I hope I don't. Right, so I'm gonna turn the machine off. And there we have crystal clear water. Look at the clarity of that. It looks good, but although it looks good, like my first sample that I showed you earlier, earlier you don't know what that contains. There could be all sorts of nasties in there. Things can make you really ill, especially Jardia or Cryptosporidium. Put you on your back. So let's just have a taste test first. That tastes pretty good. There's no aftertaste. I can't taste the river and all the sediment in there. That is like purified bottled water. And now I'm going to consume this. And like I said, I'll report back to you in two to three days and tell you how I'm feeling. 
if I'm sick, then this mach this machine is not worth buying. If it works, you know you can rely on that machine from what you've seen from this video and what you've seen me do. So I'm going to drink the whole lot. But what a tool. You know, me and my family, if shit hit the fan, me and my family could rely on that unit. That is pretty tasty. So I've done my research before buying this. You know, I'm not going to take a risk. I've got 100% faith in this machine. Because I've done a lot of research on it. And I think a reverse osmosis water purification system is one of the safest out there. That water is brilliant. You would never believe that's from that river. Oh. So that's it. All consumed. And let's see what happens in the next two to three days or maybe 24 hours crypto spiridium can can come on within 12 to 24 hours jardier the same so on the lab i'll see you in two to three days guys with an, an update of what happened so i'm doing another jar now so i can show you the clarity difference so this bottle on the left is the sample I got earlier from the river that I would not want to drink without a purification system or heavily boil it and this is your your pure stuff which I've just drunk so what I like about this unit it, it pumps out five 500 mil of fresh clean purified non-toxic water every minute as you can start seeing the, the, the clarity difference. So there are your two samples. The original on the right that I just got straight out the river which you would not want to drink. And the one on the left is the Itel purified clean drinking water which I just consumed. So this unpurified water, it's got a, a weird smell about it. I would not want to drink that. So I have put 100% faith in that unit. And to think, you know, it looks pretty clean, but to think what's living in that, all their microscopic organisms, bacterias, pesticides, herbicides, you'd have to be desperate to drink that. Reporting back, it's been four days, no ill effects whatsoever. I feel exactly the same as I normally do. So I was so chuffed with the test, so pleased I didn't become sick or ill. So I know I can rely on that machine and source my water from, from any area after drinking that. So I hope you enjoyed the video guys, I hope you find it informative and definitely a must if you're a prepper to have one of them in your arsenal. Perfect, perfect tool to have. So thanks for watching guys and uh, I'll see you on the next one and enjoy the great outdoors.